If you're a small business or solopreneur who hates dealing with the invoices but likes getting paid, you need to watch this video. Basically, I'm going to teach you how to build this workflow without any coding where all you have to do is just send a voice note and it will automatically create the invoice in your accounting software and send it to your client all automatically. So let's jump into the tutorial. So we're going to start off with using this form builder called JawForm. JawForm is very similar to Google Forms, but it has added functionality, for example, adding a voice note. So that's exactly what we're going to use. So just like build a simple form and have a voice recorder as an added widget for this form. That's pretty much it for the draw form. So save the link somewhere so you can easily create the voice note. Now we're going to use Zap here to build the rest of the automation. The first step is going to be a trigger, which is going to be using draw form submission. Anytime there is a new draw form submission, which means anytime we send a new voice note, it's going to trigger the automation. So we use draw form as the application, new submission as the event, connect our account. And for the trigger, we're going to pick the form, which we just built for voice notes. Now we're going to test the step to make sure everything is working. Now our second step uses AI. So here we're going to use OpenAI as the application and create transcript as the event. What this step will do is basically turn the voice note and transcribe that into written text so then AI can figure out what's going on and do the rest. So the same way we're just going to connect the account and for the action we're just going to take the voice note file and add it to this step so AI can turn that into a transcript. And our next step is where the magic starts to happen. We're going to use the app as chat GPT and we're going to use the event as extract structured data. This is one of my favorite events to play with because the possibilities are endless. Again, we're going to connect the account. So basically what this step does is that it takes like any unstructured data that we might have. So in this case, this is the voice note. We just define what data do we want to extract. In this case, customer name, services requested, the amount for the invoice and all that stuff. And then AI will automatically take all the unstructured data and figure out the structured data which we're asking for. And this exactly we're going to set up in this step. So under action, under unstructured data, we're just going to take our transcript from the second step and add that as an input. Now you just select the model that you want to use for chat GPT. I'm just selecting the most recent one. And then under description, it's like a simple prompt that you let chat GPT know that what you want chat GPT to do. In this case, we're just going to say that your data parser, I will provide you with my voice note transcription. And your goal is to extract the relevant information so we can create the invoice for the customer and just mention the details that you want to extract. So pay attention to this part. So this is where we want to define the values we want to extract for the invoice. So in this case, we're creating an invoice. Maybe you're creating a quotation for a customer for the services requested. So just sort of make sure that you add all the different elements, all the different values that you want to extract and list them line by line. So here we have customer name, services requested, cost of services and tax exemption. So you can do as many as you want. And to make sure AI doesn't make any mistakes, if you scroll further down, you have an option to define to AI what you mean by different fields. For example, Example for customer name, you can define what's a customer name, give it an example, just to make sure that AI is not going to make any mistakes. You can skip this step if everything is obvious and then test in the next step to make sure it's picking the right data. But if not, then just make sure you come back here and like, you know, add the description a little bit more so AI can work without mistakes. Think about like you're working with an intern, like just any instruction you would give to an intern to make sure they don't make mistakes is exactly the same way. Once you test this step, you'll be able to see if everything from your voice note to your extraction of data is happening correctly. And if you've been following the video, it will. So we'll move on to the next step, which is to find the customer in QuickBooks. So I'm using QuickBooks here as an example, but Zapier is compatible with almost all the accounting software. So you can just pick from the drop down whichever the one you use. And here for the event, we're going to use find customer. Since in our voice note, we're going to be saying which customer we're like creating this invoice for. So what this step is going to do is it's going to automatically search our QuickBooks and all the customer records and find the customer, which we need to create the invoice for. If you look here at the bottom, there's an option that create QuickBooks only customer if it doesn't exist. So that way, you know, if it's a new customer, all we have to do is still record a voice note and it will automatically create a new customer if you cannot find the customer in the list that already exists. So again, just test the step to make sure everything is working. And then for our step five, we're going to create the invoice in QuickBooks. So here again, for the app, we're going to select QuickBooks. For the event, we're going to say create a new invoice, connect our account and under actions, this is where we define what kind of data that's going to go into the invoice. So here either you can type in the data if there's something that's going to be static, but anything that's going to be dynamic, we're going to be using variables from the previous steps. For the search value, we're going to be using the results from step four. And from the customer we found in QuickBooks, we're going to extract the customer's email ID, or we're going to extract the billing address. So all these fields will be available, which is the result of step four, where we found the customer. And for anything related to the services or the cost and everything, that's something we've already extracted in step three. So we're going to add those variables here. So the whole invoice can be generated dynamically. So here, as you can see, the cost of services under amount, which is something I'm extracting from my step three. So you can go through 
through all the variables you have for creating the invoice. You can skip whichever are not relevant and then test to make sure everything is working fine. And our next step is to create an email draft so we can send off that email right away. And I'm going to use the event create draft. So I can use send email as my event, but I just want to make sure I have like a quick sanity check before I send it away because I don't want to accidentally send something wrong. So I'm going to have this being created as a draft in my inbox. So again, just do a quick manual human review before I send it away. So under accounts, I'm just going to connect my Gmail account. Then for the email, I'm going to create a subject line with a customer name to the email of the customer. And then under the body, I'm just going to do a quick message like, hey, here's the invoice. And it's going to be a link for the PDF from my QuickBooks. So that way, as soon as I get off a customer call, I record a voice note. It's going to turn the voice note into a transcription. The transcription is going to go to chat GPT. We're just going to extract the services, the customer name, the cost, and all the other details I'm asking it to. Then it's going to go into QuickBooks, find the customer. And the next step will be to create the invoice for the customer. Then I finally have the email with the invoice link ready to go. So this automation will probably take you 10 to 15 minutes to build. Or if you're the first time using Zapier, it might take you a bit more longer. So you get yourself familiarized with the whole Zapier interface. So spending these 10, 15 minutes to build this automation will save you 10, 15 minutes creating each individual invoice every single time. So you can see how building these little automations can start compounding and start saving you so much more time. And trust me, building one automation is basically a slippery slope to become an automation nerd because it is so simple, but so powerful. I hope this was useful. I hope you implement this and start saving yourself some more time. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. Also, let us know any other automation tutorials you want to see in the future. We'll see you in the next video.